The Aga Khan uh, University Hospital has a residency training program in pediatrics and child health. The purpose of this training program is to equip uh, doctors with the necessary skills they require uh, to be able to handle and manage children, and not just for the local but also for the international market. The ratio of faculty to residents is about one on one, so there's a lot of focus on the resident and the program is also unique in the sense that we have multiple training modalities. Uh, there's a lot of self-directed learning that happens. Uh, we also have um, case-based learning. We also have residents who rotate also with other institutions so that we enrich the training program for the residents. I joined the residency program uh, specifically for pediatrics because I love treating children. I love seeing children being well all the time and just bringing their smiles back to their faces when they are sick. And why I chose the medical college here, it's because of the diverse opportunities that they have and they offer in terms of their leadership and the interaction with the faculty as a way to guide us through the, the postgraduate training. Uh, the one-on-one -on -one interaction with the faculty is actually very, very um, commendable. One of the main reasons why it's really motivating to do uh, my training here, one is uh, the access to the diverse resources that I need and I require for my training. To start with, uh, we have a very state-of-the-art library that has access to over thousands and thousands of publications and you can also obtain access to the same resources online uh, via via the e-resources. E there is also what you call the SIMI, that's the simulation-based uh, training center, which is based at the university center. It's a very unique thing, um, actually one of the few and the only ones we have in Eastern Central Africa, where you'll be able to learn simulation-based training and how to be able to handle cases that you might not necessarily handle in real life. One of the main challenges that I've faced as a resident when joining the, the program is the fact that I come from a different city, so having to relocate, leaving my family behind, that is one of the main challenges. But for the fact that we get leave and time off for you to, to catch up on your personal affairs, so that I'm able to do on a regular basis. So the fact that I can balance both, it's it's encouraging. We have quite a dynamic group of uh, residents within the department who are very friendly, they're engaging, uh, we support each other. We have a whole mentorship program that allows you to be able to share your experiences, not just even with your colleagues, but also with the faculty. We try to engage with the residents in different activities, um, you know, just different team building activities as well. Whenever you join a program, you're with your colleagues, so they are the, the main support system. Be together, go through it together, and do study works together. It, it all becomes easier in the long run. We have trained over the years a huge complement of both local and international students. So we have had uh, residents uh, who have come in from areas like Tanzania, Uganda, Malaysia, we've had students also coming in from South Sudan. Quite a number of us have been reincorporated into the department as members of faculty after going for further training. We have a no quite a number of residents who have been engaged by different hospitals within the country. A uh, couple of them also have had opportunity to, to work even for in places like Botswana where we have one of our former residents who is also a head um, in, the, in the Ministry of Health in Botswana. We have certain residents who are also working in universities such as Oxford University where uh, they're engaged in um, high-end research activities. So the prospects are many and they're numerous and we encourage you to join us because uh, the world literally is at your feet when you train here.